Listen. Hello guys, my name is Rubia. Hi everyone, I'm Osmara. And we are teachers here at SEED English School. Our idea is to create the videos to make your life easier because English is fun, is important and is very nice. So let's learn! is about future. We know we have some structures to represent future, but today we're gonna focus in two. The first one is will, and the second is to be plus going to. And you, do you know when you use one and when you use the other? Let's study two situations. Hello, Nara. Hey, Bia, how are you? I'm great, and you? I'm fine. Oh, let's have a party tonight. That is a great idea. I will invite some friends. Great. So, let's check this phrase. I will invite some friends. The decision of having a party, the decision of inviting friends, was made at the time of speaking. When we have decisions made at the time of speaking, we use the structure will. So, let's check this structure. We have will. And we have the verb on the base form. What is a verb on the base form? Verbs on the base forms are verbs in the simplest form. For example, make, do, go, have. So, we use will when I have decisions made at the time of speaking. Hey, Thomas, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, Osman, and you? I'm fine. Look, B and I decided to have a party, and I'm going to invite some friends. Do you want to go? Sure. Okay, guys, so let's analyze this second situation. My decision with Thomas happened at 6 p.m., and my conversation with Bia happened at 3. When I talk to Thomas, I am talking something I have decided before. So, I say... I am going to invite some friends. Analyzing this structure, I have the verb to be, I have going to, and I have my verb. Again, this verb is in the base form. So remember, when I talk something I have decided before, I use the structure to be plus going to plus a verb in the base form. We just taught you two situations. One is will and the second is to be plus going to. Now we have two questions. I will ask you to read the question, stop your video, think about your answer, then you play again and check. Let's see if you got it. The answer of the first question is, I think I will study abroad. I use will because I haven't made the decision yet. And the answer of my second question is, for sure I'm going to travel to New York because I have already bought my tickets, I have already made my decisions. So when I talk something I have already planned before, I use the structure of to be plus going to plus the verb. Okay guys, that was our first lesson. I hope you enjoyed. Please, subscribe to our channel for continue watching and learning more every day. Bye bye guys, see you later. But today we're gonna feel. But. Oh, let's have a party tonight! That is a great idea! I will invite some friends! Great! Fine now. B and I decided to have a party, and I'm going to invite some friends. Do you want to go? Sure! <laughs> so, to make decisions at the time of. See? What did you say? No, God. Esquece a coisa. The heck? Pode ir? You, two situations. We, will. We, will. We. The answer of the first question. A question? É, é a question. No, it's what? <laughs> é.
<laughs> stay tuned. I think I will study abroad because I don't know what I'm gonna do next semester. So I decided. Uh, I haven't decided. Please subscribe in our channel for continue watching and learning more. Bye bye guys. Bye bye.